The city never sleeps, but at night it sheds its bright sun, revealing a different kind of beauty. A tapestry woven from shadows, neon, and the fleeting moments of human connection. Capturing this energy, this vibe, that's the magic of night street photography. The Fujifilm X100 Mark VI has all the makings of the perfect street photography camera. Or does it? It's time to find out if the new in-body image stabilization can help you maintain clean images at low shutter speeds, which is often needed for night photography. Will the new autofocus snap to the subject even in low light? Can you get good images even at night with a compact body like this? Well, we're gonna find out. Hey everyone, Wesley here. Today, at, I mean tonight, we're heading to the street market called First Friday in Phoenix to really put the Fuji X100 Mark VI up to the test at night to see if the new features of this camera are gonna really help it improve over the X100V. As much as I love street photography, I don't go out that often at night. If you're in your 20s and watching this, Take heed, the older you get, the less interested you are be being out late at night amongst the crowds and the noise and the shit. So get out there and enjoy yourself. Normally when I do street photography, I'm looking for pockets of light and shadow, high contrast scenes, an interesting subject walking through that scene, painting a picture, the composition, showing you something, showing you events of real day life, going to work, going to lunch, interacting with each other, expressions, those type of things. But at night, we have to switch it up. At night, it's the street lights and the headlamps and the bright signs that really draw the viewer's attention to the subject. And you gotta use those in your composition to really paint the scene. To me, night street photography is more about capturing the energy and the soul of the city. The emotions of friends interacting with each other they haven't seen all week the vibrance of the night markets, the demonstrations, the, the music, the DJs, street vendors, just the electricity of the markets and, and of the city. Now, before you guys start hating on me, I gotta break it down and I gotta be honest for you, I'm not gonna lie to you. My impressions of the X100 Mark VI were a mixed bag here. I have to be honest. While I do love the photos that I was able to to get from this outing. I tried shooting at 1 over 60 on my shutter just to allow that extra stop or two of light to cut down on my ISO and I found that the images were blurry to be honest with you. I didn't feel that the IBIS performed up to the what I was expecting it to perform up to. Now I say that but I really need to take some more time to test it could have been a lot of different elements, but I did notice some blurry images at 1 over 60. And when I increased the shutter speed up to 1 over 100, all of that went away. It really didn't have any issues with uh, blurry images due to shaky hands at the higher shutter speeds. But that, that left me a little disappointed. I really was thinking that this was going to, this IBIS system was going to perform a lot better than it actually did. Again, more testing is needed. We shall see. The autofocus, uh, the next thing we want to talk about, the autofocus. The autofocus did, did disappoint a few times, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had some issues with soft images, it said it was in focus, I took the image and it was a little soft, it just, maybe it was high noise uh, area, maybe it was just a low light, but it was a little soft. And just to you know, be clear, I shot in continuous autofocus with wide area tracking on. That's how I shoot on 90% of my cameras, including the X-H2 that I'm filming on today. By the way, the 35 F2 is what I'm using to film on. Just wanted to try a new lens, see how it works. I still have the one quarter black pro mist filter on. And at night, as you can see, a lot of the bright areas or bright light areas have this soft glow to them. And that is a an artifact or a feature, if you will, of the Pro Mist filter. I'm not sure if I like it in all the images. As a matter of fact, I think it's quite overbearing in some and it tends to be 
confusing or distracting in some of the images. But in the, most of the images, I actually find it's very pleasing. It kind of calms the photo to some extent, but also and adds that ambiance. And I quite enjoy it. Again, more testings needed, but initial impressions. I might cut down the power some, maybe go to a 1 8, but uh, we'll see. So I still need more time with the X106 to really form a well-rounded opinion. But I've taken it out to do some street photography at, during the day and it was quite impressive. And now I've taken it out at night with a mixed bag. And the videos that I've shot on it were pretty good. So all in all, it's shaping up to be a good camera. That being said, I'm gonna keep putting this through its paces I got a trip to LA coming up soon, a trip to Baltimore, and Italy is right around the corner. So we're gonna really truly find out if this camera is the camera of my dreams when it comes to travel and my street photography. While I don't feel like it's a huge leap ahead of the X100V in most cases, I am impressed with it in good lighting, and I am impressed with the video performance to date. I just think that the night autofocus did miss some, and I had some softer images, so we'll see There's some more testing. Briefly, I will mention that the opening scenes were filmed on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 at night using the super slow-mo mode or the 120p. I think it did pretty good here and it continues to impress. Again, more testing is needed until I really, really can form a well-rounded opinion. Okay, everyone, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I am going to continue putting them through its paces, so if there's anything specific you want to see while I'm out testing, let me know and I'll, I'll try to do that for you. Subscribe if you want, I hope you do, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up too. Alright guys, that's it. I'm out of here. Peace.